Today I'm going to do a tutorial on camera controls. I am using the Firestorm viewer in Firestorm mode. I will be covering the basics, the very basics, and then I shall be going into a few more advanced features that I think not many people know about but will be really really useful to everybody. Okay then, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I always have the basic camera controls which is the flo this floater up here. Just close it down a minute so you know where to find it in the menus. You go to avatar, camera controls and it brings up the floater. Or if you're looking at your toolbar, there's this icon here, it turns it off and that turns it back on again. Okay. So to move the floater about your screen you just hold down your left mouse, click it, hold it down and then you can move it around the screen wherever you want to place it. You usually have it at the top somewhere. Okay, so the floater gives you various options. There's the um, rear view. So at the camera is behind you and you have a side view which is kind of like I don't know parrot on your shoulder type of thing <laughs> you just see my head at the bottom right hand corner there and then you've got avatar from the front view okay and so we have object view mode you click that once that's activated whatever you click and want to focus on anywhere about the scene. Another way of doing that is using your control key, no not control, alt key and then you click on whatever you want to focus on and then you can zoom in. Mouse look view and you just move your mouse around to see in mouse look view. And then I'll just scroll my mouse backwards to bring back the view, reset the view. Or you could press escape. And then you have these arrows here which go left, right, up, down on this orbit around the focal point. Press the scroll, scroll to reset view and that will reset to the default view which you put up here in this case it's the rear view view you may notice that I'm using the camera tools here this is a really neat little trick that will be useful to everybody first of all to bring up camera tools it's a uh, world and then a um, photo and video camera tools or you can use Control Shift and C. That will do it. I'll, if you have it on your toolbar here, just press the toolbar button. And these buttons here show you the same as the, what the floater does: the front view, the side view, the view, rear view, the camera orbits, left and right, and the zoom feature, and the camera itself, the object view and mouse look view. Now this is the, the two that we're interested in. So what I did earlier was I put my mouse to a position that I wanted it to be in. Well the focus, sorry. And then you press this little icon here, store current camera view. And then wherever you go, wherever you put your camera, say I wanted to focus on this for example. I'm focusing in on this and then I want to go back to my previous view that I stored load stored camera view ta-da! how cool is that? <laughs> so very very useful and I don't think many people know about it zooming if you go into object view and you put your camera to focus on something and you zoom in you see how it disappears? Well, another neat trick you can do if you press control zero 
it will bring your camera in and you can bring it really really close see how close you can get without it disappearing control zero and then control eight we'll zoom it out again and control nine will reset your view so that's zooming that's really handy so here I am at Bear Rose. This shop has been here forever, at least as long as I've been in SL, and I've been in SL 10 years now. So it was probably here when SL started. Anyway, um, shopping with the camera. A lot of people don't like the overhead view. Um, you can change the angle by simply pressing shift, hold shift down and scroll your mouse wheel and then you can tilt the angle a little bit so it's easier to look at the vendors okay the easiest way for shopping is what we call cam shopping you've got to make sure that you've disabled all your camera constraints and to check that I'm not sure if it's down as default but uh, you can always check it oh right oh I've won an outfit <laughs> okay accept that I think that the, there's a raffle going on. Yes, I remember it from last time I was here. There's a raffle that goes on and uh, it picks people in the shop at random and you get a free gift. Have a look at that later. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, I've forgotten now. Oh yes, um, cam shopping, which is probably the easiest way to shop. You've got to make sure that your camera constraints are off. I'm not sure if that's in the viewer by default but let's just check so you're going to avatar preferences move and view okay camera view and make sure disable camera constraints is ticked press that okay so now when you go left and right you can go left and right forever as long as the sim and beyond that's the easiest way to do it press escape to get back to where you were another way to shop is if you press and hold down shift and your arrow keys your avatar will walk along but it will keep your camera facing towards the vendors another handy tip is um, you know when you're walking around um, some buildings and uh, you're trying to come round a small place look this is what happens kind of annoying when you're trying to negotiate a small room or something so here's what you do you go back to your camera controls second tab and allow the camera to move without constraints uncheck that box and when you're walking around now see what happens see the camera gets pushed by the wall I'll show you again there we go see that will make it a lot easier when you go into small places to have a look around okay so I wanted to talk a little bit about the default rear view um, quite a few people don't like the, like, the camera angle the overhead angle as it tends to distort things a little bit and it's probably why avatars are quite as tall as they are because of this view and, it, and it's the um, distortions so y how can you change that well you've got the um, shift and scroll to tilt it up and down as you want but what if you want to lower the camera angle a little bit so to do that you need your advanced menu up if you haven't already got your advanced menu up you use Control alt and d that gets rid of it because i already had it up and to get it back again Control alt d again and that opens up the advanced menu and then you need to find debug settings click that once you get your debug settings window up, you type in camera and you'll go down and you're looking for 
camera offset rear view there we go now this is where you have to do some fiddling about so you've got your values x y and z z or z i say z some people say z this is your camera forwards and backwards how close it is and how far away from your avatar so you can mess about with that and this is bringing it down again now this is more of the angle that you get when you play PC games it's kind of like a better angle the Y sort of brings it left and right I wouldn't want to fiddle with that at all because that's gonna change things too much so when you've got it where you like and that's fine if you do make a complete mess of it don't worry just press the default button to reset it and there you go you should have an angle and view that you're happy with and if you're not just change it again <laughs> one last final tip if your camera goes completely skew with and press and escape doesn't work and you think oh my god how am i going to get it all back again try this just try shift and escape and it'll reset everything back to normal hopefully <laughs> Anyway, that's everything for this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, if there's something I've not covered in this tutorial and you've got a question, feel free to comment below or email me. Either one will do and I will get back to you and try and answer as best I can. Okay, until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.